In this video, we will take you through the process of importing a design into the 3D Changer Car Configurator. You will learn how to work with the template, import design into 3D Changer, and create a library of your designs. If you want to see your design in 3D Changer, you will need to set it up on the design template first. You can find the link to download the template in the 3D Changer or on our website under Downloads. We recommend downloading the car's grid as well. This is an unwrapped UV map of the car and will help you properly place your design elements. Once you have got the template and the grid, open it in Photoshop. You will see it's divided into parts and layers with spaces designed for different parts of the car. To get the most accurate placement, make sure to upload the car's UV, the grid. Now, prepare your design. When the design is ready, hide any unused layers and export it as JPEG or PNG. Then open 3D Changer and go to Designs, then My Library. Click the Import button on the right and select your design file. After importing, you will be able to see your design in the library. Simply click on the design icon to apply it on the car. Now go to the design editor. You will see it's split into three sections. Parts of the car on the left, players in the middle and editing tools on the right. Let's start with the editing tools. You can adjust the finish of your design by entering a number that represents the level of matte finish. Zero means glossy, while one means complete matte. The same principle applies to metallic and clear coat finishes. If you are not happy with the colors of your design, you can see the changes in real time by going to the colors. Adjust the hues globally with the hue slider or edit the saturation or RGB channels. To move design stripes on the car, click the transform button. Select the part you want to adjust and then you can edit its horizontal or vertical position, rotation or scale. Now let's talk about the layers. You will see there are three slots available. The first one is for full wrap designs, while the second and third are for partial wraps, logos or decals. Always import JPEG images to the first layer and PNG images with transparent background to the second or third layer. If you are looking to import a partial wrap or decal, you will need to set it up on the design template just like you would for a full wrap. Make sure the background is transparent and export your design as PNG. To import it into 3D Changer, go to the Design Editor, select the second layer, the first layer is the base color of the car, and choose your partial wrap from your library. That's all from this video. You can find a link to download 3D Changer in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about 3D Changer, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.